morning, everyone. Welcome to the Monday, February 3rd, 2020, Board of Public Works and Safety. Uh, roll call, please. Eaglin? Here. Carlo? Here. Courtney? Here. First item of business is approving and uh, discussing the minutes from the Board of Public Works and Safety meeting dated January 21st, 2020. Uh, hopefully, each of you have had an opportunity to review the minutes. Mayor, I'll make a motion that the minutes of the January 21st, 2020 meeting be approved and submitted. Uh, second. Right, second, any discussion by the board? There we go. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Thank you. Okay. I don't see any unfinished business that's carried over from a prior meeting on the agenda, so let's go to the department head reports. Uh, Chief DeVries, would you like to be first? Always. Good afternoon, Council Order slash good morning. It's almost afternoon. Uh, this is some brief updates. We had uh, 56 calls for service in the month of January. Uh, also, we're very excited. We've got uh, 12 new members that have finished up their hazmat operations level training. Uh, those are going to be added to the 40 members that we already have at that level and above. Uh, for uh, continuing on with training, February and March are going to be our driver training month. Uh, we're working closely with Gardner Insurance as well as VFIS uh, to ensure our drivers of our emergency apparatus are continually getting training and hopefully those will lower our insurance rates over the coming years. Uh, i got to say thanks to Hannah Fagan, our Community Relations Director. Uh, she's really helped us revamping our website. Uh, we're currently really bringing it up to speed rather than from the 70s and 80s it's going to bring us into the century uh thumbs you can see goes worked very hard on is the smoke detector uh link uh we have actually uh, got four installations since we have made that link live on what thursday is that right yes. thursday we went live with that link on thursday and we've already got four installations off that link so how you obtain that is you just go to the city of madison's website click on the fire department link and it will actually take you to our web page and for those other requests it's, that's things going to be uh, continually changing over the next couple months. So, lots of lots of good things to think about. Any questions from the board, Chief? You mentioned uh, community outreach. So, how have you been able to attract new recruits in the past? What what uh, medium have you used? Uh, we have used website. Uh, Facebook has done a really good job. Some of the social media things. Uh, I know some of my captains have worked really hard about their individual fire company Facebook pages as well as our PIO, which is Travis Conover, uh, reaching out to the community. Uh, we work really good well closely with Madison Courier. Uh, we currently have a recruitment retention committee, which is comprised of about 14 individuals. We'll be giving a report on that hopefully mid-February on how they're uh, looking to advance the department. Keith, have you uh, any thought been given into the uh, going into the schools? Like, would they have career opportunity days? Or that is one of the top five things that the recruitment retention committee has identified, as well as not only Mass Consolidated, but also Ivy Tech as well. We're going to work, try to work closely, build relationships with those individuals. Had the booth set up, and mm -hmm. so, yeah. as well, there's some other things. I hate to take the take their uh, their steam from their uh, locomotive they got going. So yeah, I don't want to reveal too much yet. So. Okay. Do you want to make an announcement about the Cliff D6 Chili Dinner this Saturday? Sure. Uh, from 11 to 2 on Saturday, uh, Station 6 is on the hilltop, which is right next to the high school. They're going to be doing a chili lunch slash uh, early supper, possibly. Uh, chili, hot dogs, uh, let's see what else is that, sloppy joes and some other offerings. So it's one of the, the few uh, opportunities that we could help our station on the hilltop. Uh, the fours do a golf outing, the ones and the threes do a fish fry, and Station 6 is trying to do a chili cook. Or chili cook so. You say chili dogs? Chili dogs are going to be there. I think it'd be really interesting if the chief of police and the chief of the fire department had a chili dog eating contest. <laughs> I would love to, but of course I won't be in attendance because my girls are swimming second sectionals for the Madison Cup swim team on Saturday. And James, maybe we can just take an over under bet for the chief of police. <laughs> All you have to do is eat one, and I win. <laughs> that's true. Uh, that one is definitely uh, the chief's going. Yeah, that's that. well, if we can do that, if we, you know, we're, we're hoping that the girls can qualify for Saturday sectional they're gonna be there Thursday night so hopefully we can qualify for Saturday too so good luck thank you all right thank you any other questions for uh, Chief yeah. Reese thank you thank you Chief Chief McKay Madison Police Department and future chili dog champion yes sir uh, don't have a whole lot um, just want to give you some updating on staffing um, officers Lewis and sweet are currently at the Academy they're in week four um, 
talked to one of them the other, uh, on Friday. He's uh, very excited, but he's still new. It's still new to him. So once he gets halfway through the, the academy, I said, come back and talk to me then. So uh, they're getting ready to do their first breakout week um, next week, which is where they um, go as a group. With, they're in squads. So they go to a squad, goes to each separate discipline. Um, one is firearms and one is uh, Evo training emergency vehicle operations. So they're, they're kind of excited and ready for that. Uh, Officer Blankenship and Gibson are in week six of their field training. Uh, they're moving along pretty pretty nicely. I, I get a report daily of every shift they're on, and uh, it looks like other than maybe they're driving, sometimes the new guys drive uh, overly cautious, don't want to scare their, their uh, FTO. So um, what they'll be doing next, probably in the next two weeks, is moving into a phase where the, uh, their field training officer goes into plain clothes and then he is the second guy in the car. So when you get out of, the idea is when you get out of the car, the public comes to the, the uniformed officer and doesn't go to the, to the first person getting out of the car. So, so they get to handle the entire call from start to finish without the FTO interjecting in, unless he needs to. Uh, and then um, also just want to let you guys know that the uh, <clears throat> Police Merit Board voted to release Jonathan Simpson from the department uh, last week. So that will leave us with an opening, uh, one spot and a vacant detective spot. So we will look uh, hopefully in the next few weeks to, to start uh, having a hiring process. And then finally, uh, I mentioned before, our second traffic enforcement trailer is now complete thanks to this um, great city garage staff that got it up and running for us. You might see it in the next couple days out next to our station on uh, West Street. I'm testing it, trying to get it to, to work correctly. I don't, I don't know a whole lot about it, and the, the instructions are very vague. So I got it working pretty well. It's got a camera on it, so hopefully we can catch some, some decent stuff. So uh, that, that's all I got. I do have to get some hardware for it, some anti-theft hardware. Believe it or not, some people have tried to steal our other one. Um, we put a cable to the wheels, and people have tried to move it. They throw bottles at it. It's, it's kind of interesting. So hopefully I can catch some out on camera. Uh, other than that. All I got. Anybody has any questions for me? Chief, um, first of all, thank you for your service and please thank the field training officers uh, for lending their expertise to the new the new uh, officers. Appreciate them. As it relates to the uh, open detective position, is that a uh, an interview process? Can you describe what will happen now with regard to filling that detective slot? Yes, we'll uh, we'll post for it uh, within an inner department, and anybody who's interested will submit a letter of interest. Uh, I will get the other two detectives that, who are currently filling the spot and they will go through an interview process with myself and the, the other two detectives and then we'll uh, make a determination who would best fit and work the best with the other two detectives. Yeah. Okay, good. Any other questions for Chief? Okay. Thank you, Chief. Chief, thank you very much. Thank you. Chief, have a good job. Thank you. And uh, Brian Jackson. Superintendent of our utilities. I just got a couple things. Uh, uh, beginning on uh, February 10th, we're going to have a company in Robinson Pipe Cleaning doing some sewer work uh, and reparation and lining of several of our underground sewer pipelines. Uh, they're going to be doing four in Sunrise, uh, one 8th Street, one real long one on 8th Street as you go into the junior high school there, and one on Saddle Tree Lane. It's a CIPP. I've mentioned it once before, I think, at the city council meeting. Uh, they, they do this type of reparation so they don't have to dig up the lines and destroy the roads. Uh, so and along 8th Street, it really benefits us because that was going to be a very costly project if we couldn't do the CIPP. Uh, that line's like 12, 14 feet deep. Um, also, as it relates to staffing, uh, currently our wastewater superintendent, Jay Thompson, he's performing dual roles right now as our wastewater superintendent and our MS4 coordinator and for stormwater. Um, we're beginning the process of uh, training one of our newer employees, Justin Fleetwood, to take over the role of MS4 coordinator. Justin currently works in the treatment plant lab and has a class two wastewater license. He'll begin classes to become certified in stormwater and take over the maintenance of the city's MS4 program in the coming months, year. It's, it's, it's a long learning process. Jay's been doing it for quite some time now. So, uh, but other than that, that's all I have. 
Sorry, who was that that's uh, succeeding Jay Thompson on the MS4 coordination? Justin Fleetwood. Justin. He's fairly new. Okay. Um, he's only been here, what, four or five months, right? And been very long. Yeah. Okay. He said he's a good kid. Yeah. Very good idea. <laughs> Thank you. Any other questions for Brian? No. no. Th thank you. Any other department head reports? Um, Mike? Our uh, assistant superintendent of streets, Mike Peek. Speaking of kids, I'm the youngest of the ball guys back there. <laughs> um, just to report on a couple things, Mayor. Um, we've got 550 tons of salt in our salt barn and another 280 on standby to finish out our contract. Um, also, we have about 2,000 gallons of brine made, ready to, ready to go. Hopefully, we don't have to use any of that. Um, weather permitting, we have been up at the golf course training back trees and taking down dead-ass trees. And uh, throughout the town and the alleys, we've been trimming back because as soon as spring comes, uh, we get uh, scarce and help. So we're trying to do that. That's our normal maintenance as far as trees and alleys and stuff, as far as putting things back. Also, we've been upgrading signs at the transfer station, the city garage, uh, the water department for better information for deliveries and hours and where they are located. Um, we also have uh, the park benches in for the east end to be installed. We are now installing the plaques for the people who uh, we, you know, wanted to buy one, and we'll put them up weather permitting. Um, also, we've been catching up on some routine maintenance around the city buildings, painting, fixing things, and uh, like I said before, springtime hits and it's hard for us to break away to do those. So now's the time of the year when we do all this. Have any other questions for me? Just want to thank you. I know we talked about it earlier, but thank you guys for your uh, labor and, and expertise in helping us with our expansion here and keeping those costs down. So thank you for that additional work on our office space. Appreciate that. That's what we do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Uh, anyone else? Any other department head here to give a report to the Board of Public Works and Safety? Okay. No. All right, moving on to new business. Nicole Shell on the preservation and the uh, PACE program. Good morning. You should have three packets, uh, all for final uh, disbursement of funds. The first one is for Sarah Lou Ellen at 324 East Street uh, for the amount of $3,750. Um, basically, her job was uh, siding, um, paint, uh, and it looks pretty good uh, from the photos. You can see that. Keep going. Uh, can we? You can walk them. Yes, long. Yeah. The next one is for Ken McWilliams at 315 Poplar Street uh, for the amount of 7500 uh, His work included uh, porch repair, uh, new doors on the front and sides um, and you'll see uh, before and afters on that the porch before is basically um, not um, usable um, so they're now able to use um, the second floor and the last one is for Chevelle Bernius at 624 West 3rd Street for the amount of two thousand four dollars and fourteen cents um, her work included uh, windows, tuck pointing, uh, missing corners, and gutters. <coughs> this is a great program. Uh, I'll just mention while uh, the other board members are looking at these um, report forms that uh, tomorrow will be talking with the uh, Redevelopment Commission about expanding the PACE program and um, looking forward to uh, expanding that program to have a greater, even a greater impact on revitalizing uh, some areas of, of uh, our historic district that are in need of capital investment. Or any questions for Nicole on either of these uh, report forms? 
I'll make a motion we accept the three properties. Okay. I'll second that for any discussion on the motion to approve these report forms and payment that's requested. Any comments or questions from the audience on this? Not hearing any. Um, a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Thank you, Nicole. Yep. And uh, work. thanks. Uh, Pace has their meeting next week. They're reviewing nine applications. Um, so you'll have a batch of applications to approve at your next meeting. Thank you. Great. Uh, next under new business will be a street closing request for the Madison Jefferson County Animal Shelter. This is resolution number 10 2020. The resolution of the Board of Public Works and Safety of the City of Madison, Indiana, regarding street closing for the Madison Jefferson County Animal Shelter. Whereas there has been a request filed by Jenny Slover and Chelsea Griffin on behalf of the Madison Jefferson County Animal Shelter for a street closing for said group in connection with their annual. Animal Shelter 5K Spring Sprint to be held on Saturday, April 18, 2020. Now, therefore, be resolved by the Board of Public Works and Safety of the City of Madison, Indiana, that Hannah Drive between the Ivy Tech parking lot entrance and Miles Ridge Road shall be closed from 6.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. on Saturday, April 18, 2020. Be it further resolved by the Board of Public Works and Safety of the City of Madison, Indiana, that said street as closed shall be with supervision and control of the Madison Jefferson County Animal Shelter at the times noted above for the year 2020. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I mean, he basically just explained exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> Anything else to add to the uh, to the resolution? No, I think that pretty much covers it. It's pretty much the same as previous years. Yeah. Um, same layout. Yeah, it's the same route and everything. Can you guarantee it's not going to snow this year? I at that race? I mean, I can pray, but I can. I ran it last it. year. It was great, and, but it snowed that day. <laughs> April well, I will keep my fingers crossed that it is not going to snow. You're going to have an early spring, so. Oh, <laughs> That's what Phil says. <laughs> okay. Um, do we have a motion to approve this resolution then? I make a motion to approve this resolution. I'll second that motion. Okay, let's roll call on the uh, resolution, please. Eaglin? Yes. Carlo? Yes. Courtney? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. We just asked again that uh, no painting on the streets. Okay. The next one is resolution number 11 2020, a resolution of the Board of Public Works and Safety in the City of Madison, Indiana, regarding a street closing for the Life Choices Clinic, Walk for Life. Whereas there's been a request filed by Sharon Hobbs on the Life Choices Clinic for street closings in connection with their Walk for Life to be held on Saturday, May 2nd, 2020. Now therefore be resolved by the Board of Public Works and Safety of the City of Madison, Indiana that the following streets shall be closed from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. on Saturday, May 2nd, 2020. Vaughn Drive from the west entrance of the Riverboat Inn to Vernon Street and Vernon Street from the first street to Vaughn Drive. Be it further resolved by the Board of Public Works and Safety of the City of Madison, Indiana, that said streets as closed shall be under supervision and control of Life Choices Clinic at the time zone above for the year 2020. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you for being here. Anything else to add to uh, what Council has read with regard to resolution? No. Okay. Do you want to introduce who your guest is? Yes, I have uh, resigned effective next week. Of you didn't tell me that, Alan. <laughs> as the executive director of Life Choices Clinic, and this is our new executive director, Noah Brown. Well, as we talked about, Alan Malawi, welcome to the community, Noah. Thank you very much. And sorry to see you go, Sharon. Yeah, thank you. It's been great. I've been serving for 12 years, and this event is exactly the same as it's always been. I'll be helping on a volunteer basis. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, work. Again, we just ask that uh, no painting. If, if you need to mark the streets, uh, use chalk or, you know, get with the street department. Uh, they could provide you probably with some chalk. Yeah. So, Thank you. Mayor, I'll make a motion that we approve resolution number 11-2020. I'll second that motion. Okay. Any discussion on this resolution board? Any discussion uh, or comments from the audience? We'll have a roll call vote, please. Eaglin? Yes. Courtney? Yes. Carlo? Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. And again, no, welcome. Thanks. Sorry. See you go, Sharon. 
Okay. Okay. Don't believe there are any requested adjustments uh, this month, so we'll move on to claims. Mayor had an opportunity to review the claims. With that, I'll make a motion that the claims be approved and submitted. Uh, second his motion. Okay. Any discussion? Any comments from the audience? Okay. Uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? Thank you. Approved. And anyone here in the audience would like to uh, address the Board of Public Works and Safety? Does the Board have anything else to uh, add for the um, meeting today? We'll take a motion to adjourn then. Um, yes. I would just like to mention that uh, Cable Channel 15, their director, uh, Dennis Crank, is ill and that uh, we uh, keep him in our prayers. Thank you, Rick. I uh, make a motion we adjourn. I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Thank you.